Hello YouTube. I am back with another little video. Um, this one is going to be very interesting. Um, and I have no idea the direction that I'm going to officially go in this video. But the Holy Spirit told me to press record and he has like a warning um, of preparation and things to consider for the remainder of 2023 and into 2024. And I want to start this off by saying I do not want you guys to be fearful. I do not want you guys to be filled with dread or anything like that. So I that's not the tone of this video in any way, shape, or form. But we are going to be discussing pretty heavy things. Like pretty heavy things. Just so that you can be prepared. And I feel such a heaviness on my heart. And the Holy Spirit clearly told me today that he's like, you need to give a warning, Ezra Lee. Um because these are actually really serious days that we're in. And I have not been scrolling on social media, but like the stuff that I've been hearing and the stuff that just comes across my page, it makes sense of some of the things that the Holy Spirit is putting um, on my heart and then other people's hearts. And it's just interesting what's happening right now. Um, we're in very interesting days. And so I just want to start this off with a prayer and then we're just going to get right on into it. Um, yeah, so Jesus, I worship you. I praise you, Lord. This is very, very heavy on your heart. I just, I just ask for the strength to share what needs to be shared, Lord, because the heaviness is actually really heavy. And there's a big caution in this day. And so I pray, Lord, that you that you, Jesus, would still your people, but get them to be prepared and allow them, Lord, to hear this and bring it all back to you and do what they need to do accordingly. Um Holy Spirit, I pray you just speak clearly, whatever you want me to talk about. You, you speak, God, because I really, I'm not too sure. I have some ideas, but I actually have no idea. And so, Lord, just speak, Holy Spirit. I, I don't have an agenda. I just want to help prepare your people. I want them to be hopeful in days that could feel like there's no hope or that they might want to feel hopeless, but bring them hope in the preparation that you've seen this coming. You've seen all these things coming and you've declared the end from the beginning. So nothing shocks you. Nothing shocks you. Holy Spirit, speak so clearly. I only want your clarity and your voice and your promptings. Not logic, not emotion, but your heart. Because you see what I don't see and you see what they don't see. I worship you, Jesus. Bless this video. And even right now, bring the right people onto this video who need to see it and keep people off who don't need to see it. Maybe they don't need to know these things right now. Um, yeah, so I love you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, just also realizing I didn't plug my phone in. And it's saying I'm going to need more light. I felt like I wanted to just sit on the ground here. I don't know if I put this light on. Ew. Um, okay, let me figure this out. Okay. So it just changed directions. So it's great. We have more light. Um, and then I just got distracted for a second. So Jesus, thank you for that prayer in the first section of this video. But Holy Spirit, I just pray you just speak and um yeah whatever you want me to speak and tell your people just you let me know okay i just have to like center my mind and be sure i'm hearing from the lord because i just feel like there's distractions there for a second anyway <sighs> okay so um yeah for the past little bit you, you just sense like something's looming like especially since November kind of hit, but just towards the end of this year, it just feels um, a lot of interesting transitional change is happening worldwide. 
and um, some of the stuff that we've all been hearing, if you've been hearing from the Holy Spirit, um, we've been hearing for so long, it's like literally about to happen, um, like actually, like legitimately, and it's a lot of, if you've heard half the stuff, even some of the stuff that I felt led to share and other people felt led to share that the Lord's putting on their heart, like it is severe, like actually severe. And for our generation, especially in the um, Western world, we're not used to severe, but like this, these are severe things that are about to take place and about to happen. And the Holy Spirit just wants us to be prepared for the most part that we know that, you know, we are leaning on the Holy Spirit. And the first thing he really put on my heart and it is in these days, it's not going to be as much of going to like, like the Holy Spirit's not going to speak as much through people, even like, like me, like what I'm doing right now. Um, he's not going to speak as much on that because for internet shortages and any viruses that get released about um, like computer viruses, software viruses, like the Wi-Fi might be a little spotty in places. Social media might be a little spotty in places. And so he's going to speak crystal clearly to his people. And for those of you who believe that the Holy Spirit does not speak today, I really want to encourage you. He does speak today. You might have been around people who have abused it. You might have been around the wrong thing or whatever. But I'm telling you, the Holy Spirit does speak today. And the specific warnings that he's putting on your heart, the specific promptings, the feelings, the like, whoa like today for example why i'm getting on here to do this video is i felt this like oh my goodness like since today has rolled around i felt this like uneasiness but peace from the holy spirit but an uneasiness of like okay something's going on like something's happening and the holy spirit was like yes i want you to warn my people but i had a feeling that was like a bit disturbing that was alerting me to something that's happening or, or things that are going on and so follow those promptings i even think about it the other day um, the Holy Spirit told me, he was like, I don't want you to like, you don't need to walk your dog on your main street. Just walk him in like your backyard. And he told me that. And I walked my dog in my backyard because we don't have a fence on one side. And anyway, and so I have to like make sure he doesn't like wander off. Right. So I had him in the backyard and I literally still took him for a walk. And I was doubting if that was like the Holy Spirit telling me not to take him for a walk because I thought he still needed a walk. But I logically just was like, oh no, he needs a walk because he does. But I know for an absolute fact, like he didn't. And the Holy Spirit told me, no, you don't need to walk him. But there's things that like those little warnings and those little promptings, the Holy Spirit's like, listen to those promptings. It's actually serious. Like in certain places for whoever's going to watch this in certain places, those promptings, those like, don't go over here, go over here, take this route, take this street, go over here. It actually is so important for so many of you. You've had situations where the Holy Spirit has literally been like, turn left on this street, go over here, go over here, go do this, go do this. And nothing has seemed to happen. And you're like, why would I go here? Like, God, am I just like not listening to you? Am I delusional? Am I not hearing from you? And the Holy Spirit's like, no, it's literally been preparation. He's like, because so many of you have not been used to just following the Holy Spirit. So you're not used to him, like literally in the little things being like, go over here. Do not go over here. Don't talk with that person, but go talk with this person. Like he is training you for the days when it's actually like a life or death situation. And I say that because there will be situations for many of you in the days forward that like are actually a life or death situation, like a severe like if you go over here, there's going to be violence and you will get caught up in maybe a gunshot. You might get a little beaten up because there's violence and, and like around the corner. Like you need to be so like if you feel off, pause with the Lord. Just pause. Take a second. Be like, hey, what's going on here? And then follow what the Holy Spirit's telling you to do. And, and I'm telling you that is so, so important because what the Lord's been telling me is there's literally... Yeah, so he wants me to read that. There's literally going to be so much malice, anger, violence on a global stage, on the global stage, like more than you've really ever seen it in a long time. Like it, it's, it's severe. Um, and he's told me this for, it's funny. Anyway, he told me this, um, um, beginning of this year that there'd be a lot of violence on different like modes of transportation and in different places. Um, and so he's really speaking that and wanting his people to really understand that. Um, not in this one. Is it this one? Not in that one either. Not in that one either. Where, where was this? Oh, in this one. 
Yes, okay. So Holy Spirit told me this November 3rd, 2023. Um, he said, okay, um, I want to, now I want to let you know it's about to get very dicey on the world stage. Anger, malice, and murder will be at an all-time high. Differing sides will emerge as I move sovereignly, as I move very sovereign, sovereignly in this day. I have no favorites, but my truth will stand always. Have no fear when you hear of this great tension. Do not fall for the peace that is not really peace, but rather compromise and coercion. Um, no, he does not want me to share that right now. Yeah. Okay, so there are currently only two real wars going on in this time. The war on humanity and the war against me. This translates into many tiny wars, but these are the roots. Um, humanity, the human race, is under attack. For centuries, this has been happening. Don't be discouraged. I have already won this battle. Help my people be reminded of this truth. That's what he was telling me. <laughs> um, yeah, okay. Um, he said, you heard correctly, Ezra Lee, because I, I did, in this moment on November 3rd, the other day, I was like doubting. But he's like, the civil war in America is on the doorsteps of America now. Watch the courts. I meant what I said back in 2020. Watch and see how I liberate my people. No more slavery. I'm freeing them. Watch America. When it rains, it pours. I won't, I truly won't be mocked. I'm going to set the record straight. So this generation will actually have the opportunity to know who I truly am. No, if, no ifs, ands, or buts. Let me reintroduce myself. 2023, I am. Love your heavenly father. And so there's a few things in there that I'm not going to share at this time just because the Holy Spirit was like, mm, just hold up on that. But there are there's so much tension going on in this world on a variety of different fronts, on a variety of different things. And the tension is only going to increase where violence is going to be, um, people are going to be provoked to violence. They're going to be in like literally go do this, like this is violent, like people are going to be turning on each other at an alarming rate because of a variety of different things not just the like certain things that some people might be thinking um of different sides different races different cultures but it's 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 like people are at the burning boiling point and it's just like the enemy is going to work with that and he's going to just um just work through that very malicious anger and so i'm telling you the little nudges that you have in your spirit listen to them listen to them because it is not just a like Mm, whatever like if you if you hear it or you don't like whatever no these are like life or death things like you might have like negative um like consequences of being in the wrong place at the wrong time and this is not to put fear in you of like well hopefully i hear correctly just just walk live your life follow jesus keep going but if you have a very unsettling sense in your spirit listen to that and really like tread with caution and ask the holy spirit like what do i need to do he will always bring clarity and it will be very clear and very like go here don't go here like very direct he's not going to play games with you but this is just some clarity for you and to prepare you um and this morning i heard like alarm like it was like the holy spirit like sounding an alarm and he's like ezra lee sound an alarm and so I am just sounding the alarm that like things are about to get very wild, like not next year, not in two years. No, like things are like, like be warned, like Christmas is not going to look quite the same. Like, you know, you can make the best of it. The Holy Spirit's people will have exactly what they need. But because of what has gone on on the global stage, it's going to feel weird. It's just going to feel weird. And don't even like Black Friday. I'm telling you, be so careful what you're purchasing online. Be so careful what you're purchasing online. It is best that you don't do gifts this year. Yeah. <laughs> it is best you don't do gifts this year. Spend time with your family and friends, those who the Holy Spirit's placing around you. Enjoy. Have good food. The Lord will show you, like, how to provide for your family with, with food and stuff. But spend time more so uh, with your family, with the connections that are around you, and who the Holy Spirit has around you, versus spending money on all these gifts. You can let that go this year. Like, seriously, oh man, I cannot stress it enough. Please be careful of what you're buying online. Please be careful for just the sites you're using, what you're putting your money towards. Be careful. I don't say this to instill fear. I don't say this, but I'm really like, this is a warning from the Lord. Like, you be careful what you are bringing into your home. And, and you just, just be very careful because there are things that are at play that 
yeah, it is crazy because I want to tell you something. Well, everyone's eyes are over what's going on in the Middle East and everything that's going on there, which is malicious. I'm not really here to talk about that because there's many people covering that in this time and I don't feel like I need to really discuss that at this time for me, like what the Holy Spirit's saying, like, guys, you should talk about this. But what's going on over there is disgusting and it breaks my heart, all the tension that's going on there. It's sickening what's happening to Israel and the innocent Palestine people. But especially with Israel, like I just, it, that's, Israel is God's people, point blank. Anywho, but what's going on over there, you don't, like this morning, I, I literally was like seeing people behind the scenes, like all these power brokers, all these people that are behind the scenes, planning and orchestrating all these things. They're just like kind of not giggling, but they're like, good eyes are over there. Now we're going to do X, Y, and Z. Okay, we're getting this all in place so that we can do this and this. And they're literally tweaking all these little things. Well, everyone else's eyes are over here and oh, what's going to happen and, and whatever. And there's things that are happening that are literally going to change the trajectory of honestly, like humanity in this generation. And, and they're happening just behind the scenes. It's just like little court cases, little court rulings, little things like there's so many things. The Holy Spirit's just telling me now there's so many things that are going going to the court and just like passing left right and center and, and you know he's he's sovereign and he has people positioned where they need to be to like stop unnecessary things but like there are things being passed there are things being brought to court that should never ever 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 even be remotely brought to court right now and even considered but they are being considered and the holy spirit's like i'm gonna stop it to some degree but he's like i'm telling you that this is one like <sighs> because of how much tension there's going to be a craving for peace and there's going to be a solution for the peace that it, it like, oh, look at all the tension. There was so much tension. There was so much this. This was brought by this and it's going to be and it's going to be like, OK, this is what this war is over here. We don't want war anymore. So then there's going to be things that are happening it's like this is how we can get the peace again. This is how we can get the peace again. Because then when there's mass chaos, then everyone wants to just get back to normal to where the peace was. But I'm telling you, the solution that gets passed down, probably in 2024, 2025, the solutions that start getting passed down, is this what we can do to have the peace? Do not do it. Unless the Holy Spirit's like, yes, you can go along with that. Because I'm telling you, it's going to be just like the Holy Spirit said back here, um, what he told me November 3rd, 2023, um, do not fall for the peace that is not really peace, but rather compromise and coercion. They're just trying to get you to do things and, and, you know, just follow a plan. So this is all like, the Holy Spirit just wants you guys to know that, that what is happening right now is being, um, it is just so planned and organized by higher up people. Like it's so planned and so organized for years. And, and the Lord knows and he sees all the plans behind the scenes. And he's like, I see the planning and, and what is being said of, oh, it's for the greater good. Oh, yeah, we're doing this, but it's for the greater good. It, it, it's okay because it's for the greater good. No, no, no. The Holy Spirit's like, nah, that, that type of mentality is not, does not honor the Lord because what happens in that type of mentality, oh, it's for the greater good. Then people in the present get abused, get used, get killed, get malicious things happen to them, or I guess unalived because apparently that, that word can be triggering online. But, but seriously, there, that's what happens. That's literally, and then, and then it's just like, okay, like they're just left with, um, I don't even know. They're just planning all these things over the greater good. And then it's not for the good of those who are here right now. So there will be casualties because for the greater good. But then the people right now are perishing because of it. And Jesus is like, no, there's a way if you follow Jesus that people in the present can actually be okay and, and be awesome and, and be thriving. And then the people as well in the future can be. But that's when you are trusting your life with Jesus and you're not trying to control and preserve this earth and this life on this planet. So I just, I want to raise that warning and say it is about to get so violent and so malicious and so crazy, especially in America. And honestly, I'm in Canada over here and it's, it's still definitely, it'll get some type of way here too, all over tension, like just anger, like violence. It's it's just riots. Like I'm telling you, this is a time where you need to have the Holy Spirit, like not out of fear, but just like, what do I need to do to prepare? 
I've heard some people say that they're going to have bags packed just in case it's like so violent in their area that they do need to just quickly get a bag and like hop on a train and go somewhere else in another town or something. But like, it's that type of a day that we are in in certain places more so than others that you might need to be extra prepared in case something happens, not out of fear, but just out of wisdom. And the Holy Spirit was reminding me today of the story of Anne Frank. And I haven't read all of the story, but, you know, I've read bits and pieces. Holy Spirit brought me to that about, like, a year ago. And he he reminded me today of a word that he gave me. is like, it's going to be just like Anne Frank. And in Anne Frank's life, it was all normal, all fine. And she was, like, going to school, super cool, hearing about the war, hearing about what's happening, hearing about things. And then all of a sudden... It was like in one day, she had to pack her bags and her life and her life drastically changed. And and so that's for so many people that, you know, it's going to be like that. Like you might have to actually like flee your house for some of you and flee these areas. And the Lord will tell you, go here, go here. And he's going to bring you to safe places. These places that you're like, you would have never picked or planned for yourself. But he's like, this is perfect. This is hidden in plain sight. This is tucked away. This is perfect. And then once... That's what the Holy Spirit wanted me to, um, wanted me to share, which is funny because I saw literally a Netflix movie. I don't know. I know nothing about it, but it was a title when I opened my iPad and it was like, um, stay in or something. And so the Holy Spirit really wants you to know for whoever this is for, like, I'm, I'm dead serious in December, like end of November, early December into January, I, I really wouldn't be traveling this these aren't the, pa- the past few years have not been a time to just travel a lot a lot a lot like when you can and when the holy spirit's like yeah it's good do it but i'm telling you the end of this year especially be careful because there's going to be like just some weird stuff even with um electronic things like like electronic devices and you don't want to be stranded somewhere where you can't get on a plane and there's going to be weird weather stuff, like very weird weather stuff. The Holy Spirit's reminding me in Canada, like there's just going to be weird weather in Canada, but all over like extreme weather, especially snow in certain places, like extreme snow um, for places that get winter and just like the extremes, like really weird, just extreme. So be really careful with that. If the Holy Spirit's telling you go and do this, go and do it. But it's a time to really ask him, is he telling you to go out and do Or is he telling you to sit and to really rest and to gain perspective of what's going to happen the next few years? Because I'm telling you what the Holy Spirit's been putting on my heart is from like now, but I'd say October till about April. So spring. So pretty much fall and winter, at least in Canada and, and, you know, wherever we get winter. But for that period of time from, what did I just say? Yeah, October to about April. It is very good idea to be low key in what you are doing. Rest as much as you can, no matter how busy your work schedule is or the commitments that you actually have to come through on. Rest in your downtime. It's not the best to just go and do everything. Rest. And and this is not just like for me, sometimes I rest when I do stuff with people, but this is like a legitimate like be stationary, like sit for a second, like sit down sit and for those of you that that's hard because your brain is working over time like it, it's something you're gonna need to develop a skill and ask the holy spirit to like help you just sit stay stationary you don't need to be up and going everywhere it's time to actually physically rest your body and for some people they will say and i the holy spirit's like <laughs> that's funny um for some people they will say okay well i rest t- i have to move to rest because i can't enter a rest in- unless i'm moving and the holy spirit's like that's a lie that you're believing He's like, you have so much on your mind that that you feel you have to keep yourself going all the time. But if you just sit and actually let those thoughts sit and let me walk you through it and let me bring people around you to help you walk through it. He's like, you're actually going to gain a lot more productivity in the seasons of life that I bring you into where I'm asking you to be like out here, out here, out here, go, go do this because there's going to be so much, um, new in the next few years that we're going to be like going like once april comes there's just a lot that's going to be happening in so many people's lives globally like re like a lot of rebuilding a refocus a you know preparing because we're going to see what kind of started to happen at the end of this year and beginning of 2024 and we're going to be like okay you know we need to seek vision from the lord of what the future is going to look like and what we need to do sorry my birds like my dog's coming in their room and my bird like Um, and so that's something that the Holy Spirit really wants, um, you guys to 
be reminded of that this is this is a time to actually be stationary and to rest i know you might have trips i know you might have stuff you want to do and and all these christmas festivals and stuff but the holy spirit's like just ask him is that something he is saying that's a good idea or are you just assigning yourself to that commitment or to that thing because it's fun or it's what we do or it's what culture says you do around this time of year but ask him because it's actually super important. It's more important than you think and it, it, that you rest and that you stay stationary and you find ways to almost rest in a stationary way. Not just even watching TV, like that's great, but like even journaling, writing, reading, drawing, just being still, you know, even talking with an, a person about, about things, but you're sitting and you're being still and you're, you're focused and, and you're developing that skill to sit and be focused and not feel crazy if you just need to sit um, and not feel like you have to move and do things. Um, and so that's just some, just very heavy on my heart that the Lord's just like, ask him how he wants you to spend this holiday season. And if it's a lot of running around, I would recommend that you take off one, like one commitment, at least this winter slash fall season, um, at, or just, you know, from October till now or November till April, um, you just take off one thing that you're doing on your plate and then you, for like that hour or whatever that you'd be doing that thing, you just sit or for those 30 minutes, that 15 minutes, you just sit for a second and you do something while being still, physically still. That's very important right now. It's very, 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 <laughs> bless you. It's very, very important right now. So I'm kind of just sounding the um, alarm to just remind you, like, the things that the Holy Spirit has been warning about are about to happen. And there are going to be, you know, there's going to be more diseases and outbreaks and things like that, that um, won't have just been naturally occurring, but they're actually like biological warfare. They are. It's weapons against humanity and against certain countries and, and things like that. And so be very just prayerful with the Lord and ask him and, and keep the reminder that the Holy Spirit does hem you in and protect you. But the thing is, when things are being released, when um, diseases are kind of being spread, you know, the Holy Spirit might not want you to be out and about so much just so you don't catch those things. It's very, it, there's actually a lot of wisdom when he says, like, don't go somewhere because you don't know what was released in that area. And this is not to put you in fear because I could see people being like, I don't want to go here because I'm scared of getting sick. You do not not go somewhere because you're fearful of it. But you don't go somewhere because you just know that the Holy Spirit's like, I don't want you there. And I'm telling you, if you have not heard from the Holy Spirit before or you have... But, you know, you've just had pockets of hearing from him in this time. If you are seeking his heart, if you're like, God, I really want to know, like, what's going on. And you follow him and you're his kid and you're like, I just want to know, God, he's going to speak crystal clear to you. Like, you are going to hear things so crystal clear that you're like, whoa, whoa, I knew what you were saying, God, but like, this is crazy. Like, this is crystal clear. Like, this is very to the point and the lord's like yes because when it's down to the wire he speaks crystal clear sometimes he wants he'll speak one thing and he wants us to wrestle with it and just trust him with what's happening but in times of like do this don't do this is actually very important he speaks so clearly um in like a crystal way and he's like this is what um i'm saying and walk in it and be confident when the holy spirit tells you something be confident and i know there's been many of you that i've had people come against you and be like you don't hear from the lord or your own thoughts have been like i don't know if this is right because it's taken a while for things to happen or things haven't happened yet so you're like i don't know i don't think i heard from the lord i'm doubting the holy spirit's like be confident in what he's told you do not bow down to the enemy's lies or or to your own insecurities or the or the accusations of other people stay in your lane focus on what jesus has said to you and he is going to bring it to pass in due time but for so many of you like this like it's the time for it and and you're gonna have to bring that back to the lord because we all know when god says it's the time for it like you know it, it, timing with the lord is very um up in the air some days but i actually firmly believe that this is like this is a pop rue rue be nice I actually firmly believe that this is very, uh, it's happening soon, like sooner than soon. Like, and there's an urgency and I, I don't think I've ever actually had a moment where even today the Holy Spirit was like warning, like warning, like 
warning like it was be prepared like w right as something is happening it was just this like mer mer like i just i felt that so strongly like warning warning like you know if there is a fire those alarms usually don't go off until the fire is already like full blazing and then that's the time that they need assistance that's the type of urgency that i felt like the fire is already blazing like things are already setting in motion and it is fast on like literally on the heels of another like just a lot of things on the heels of another and so be prayerful be prayerful this fall and winter or from um, October well, November till April be super mindful of what you're doing where you're going who you're talking with this is a big one if you have unnecessary voices in your life blabbing and and sharing well, all that and the other thing and they're giving your their opinion but you are like I don't really think I need your opinion like don't be afraid to put boundaries up and not be around large groups of people but the Holy Spirit is going to bring to you the people he wants in your life. And this is a time to really deal with those heart things that have gone just tucked away and have been like, mm, I don't really think so. Like, that's not really, I'm, not, I'm just going to like tuck that under the rug. The Holy Spirit's like, I do not want you to tuck things under the rug. This is not time to tuck things under the rug. This is time to bring it to the surface so the Lord can heal it so that you can really, um, trust the lord he's going to deal with his people's issues of, of like trusting him because of their past because of rue rue hey rue be nice okay anyway um my dog's like i want to go for a walk <laughs> anyway um but just be really, um, okay, hold on. Sorry, I had to just watch back the last clip because I was like, what was I even saying? That like derailed my mind for a second. Um, anyway, but yeah, the Holy Spirit does not want you to tuck things under the rug. And so he's going to bring intentional relationships into your life where you can really just process things and um, pray through things and go deeper and, and really um, trust him and deal with those trust issues that you might have with God because of the past. That's what we we're kind of going at um, when I pause the video. But uh, yeah, so just really trust the Lord that if he doesn't want you around be a lot of groups of people or whatever, just trust him in that. And he's going to bring those people that are that are needed and that are not just going to that they're going to really get to know you in this time. And that's what he wants. People that will really get to know you and know who he's called you to be and not misunderstand you, but um, know you so that you can be re, um, you can be encouraged and re-encouraged in who you are and what God's called you to. So that when the opposition does come and, and when, you know, you're starting to do things and, and people are like, I don't think that that's right. And they're misunderstanding you. You have that foundation in Jesus, but also in healthy people. Um yeah so anyways um i think that's actually all which is perfect timing because my dog wants a walk and i'm like i should probably walk him um but i think that's all i just want to sound that alarm and really get you guys to realize what this kind of november december <laughs> moment is going to look like in on a global scale just in a vague way because there's certain things that okay one second okay i think i'm back now this is gonna be great um just trying to finish this up anyways lord help me um but yeah i just i wanted you guys to have that alarm sounded so that you know the severity of what's happening right now and that i believe in this video you'll feel the heaviness in this and actually as I finished even sharing it the heaviness slowly started to lift so I know that this is something that the Lord really wants you guys to know and it was heavy on his heart and once it's once it's shared it, it tends to lift off of me because he um is like okay like this is what my people needed to know and he just wants you guys to be prepared and this wasn't necessarily a video to talk about in-depth things that are going to happen because I actually get the picture that the Holy Spirit wants things to be pretty under the radar because for those who hear his voice they will know what they need to do and they will know the things that are about to happen but he doesn't want it to be so out there before it happens because people then will be able to plan and prepare that he wants them to feel the desperation because they're trying to be self-sufficient and he needs them to feel the desperation so they realize that 
they do need him and and that their self-sufficiency would come to a head with desperation and then they would turn to the lord and do what romans 10 verse 9 to 10 clearly states and actually be saved and not be you know in that self-sufficient place of thinking that they don't need anyone but themselves so there's certain like not secrecy but just not everything needs to be shared right now in this like vivid this is what's actually going to happen because it's almost so hidden that Jesus' people know and they will be prepared according to their country, their region, their their state, their province, their whatever, their city, um, as they personally follow the Holy Spirit in their own relationship. Because Jesus has really worked on people's personal relationship with him in this time. <laughs> and so um, he can really speak to his people um, in such beautiful ways because people are leaning on him and not man in so many ways at least his you know followers who are listening to his voice and that's really beautiful so be encouraged in that um, but that's just kind of wanted to at end the video in that way um, this isn't necessarily like I guess something to like a prophecy video but it's more just like the father's heart of which I guess is prophecy I get so weirded out with prophecy because it gets so misconstrued and or like it's just a weird topic a lot of people like do weird stuff with it but really I just see prophetic things as communicating the father's heart on a topic um anyway but there that's a whole other you can study prophetic stuff in your own time but this is just what I felt on the father's heart that he really wanted to prepare you guys just so that you would know that Jesus is real that he cares about you he wants to warn you and he wants to um he wants to protect you and wants to prosper you as much as possible in this fallen world um so let him do that let him lead let him provide for you he will guide you um and do not control do not take things into your own hands and try to be self-sufficient it won't it really won't end well and if you're stubborn and rebellious, um, you will you will find yourself in a dead end, in a very desperate place. And it's a low place. Um, just like, honestly, it was, the Holy Spirit reminded me, just like, I think it was that Travis Scott concert where they did that weird thing. And it was like, honestly, a weird, to me, it looked like a satanic ritual type vibe. And people who went there were like, it just felt like no one was there to help me. And I was like desperate and I couldn't get help and I couldn't breathe like that's the place you're going to find yourself in, a place where you feel like you can't breathe or no one's there to help you because that's what the enemy does. He lures you in with all these promises. Yeah, look at this. And then he literally destroys your life and then is not there to help you pick up the pieces. He just leads you into a trap and destroys you. Jesus wants to, you know, deal with some things. He doesn't give you false promises. He gives you true the truth and then you walk in that and it's sometimes harder to receive the truth but then he leads you to build your life not wreck your life the things that have gotten wrecked in your life have been things that were man-made or just need to be shaken so because it was too much of like human ideologies or you weren't really leaning on the lord and that foundation so that got wrecked but the things that jesus builds he builds he doesn't want to wreck them so really ask the holy spirit to show you that in this time um yeah, so that's all. That's all she wrote or <laughs> he put on my heart, the Holy Spirit put on my heart. So I just pray blessing over you guys. Do not fear, do not be anxious, but really sit with the Holy Spirit and ask him what he's bringing in your life, what he's asking you to do, what he has given you energy to do. And um, really listen to that in this time because it's very, very important and follow those promptings, no matter how small or little they seem, follow them. If you feel unsettled about anything, pause before going forward and asking the Holy Spirit where he's leading and directing you and what he's trying to maybe prevent you from running into or whatever that may be. So bless you guys in all the ways and I'll be back whenever I'm back.